I am so excited to be making this video because by the time I upload this, I will be 20 years old, the big 2-0. I don't know if on camera it shows it backwards. 2-0. I'm not 21 yet, but this is still a milestone. I'm no longer a teenager, and honestly, I really wanted an excuse to make one of these types of videos where you sit on camera and you share your wisdom with people, what you've learned in the course of your life, which is honestly a lot. I can honestly say that I've learned a lot. I'm gonna pretty much wing this video. I did make a list of some things that I thought were important to talk about, but I'm just gonna say what I feel compelled to say right now, and these cat ears, by the way, I did not have a birthday crown or a birthday tiara, so that's why we're bringing it back to Halloween. Nobody cares if your eyebrows are on fleek. Nobody cares if your highlight is popping. Nobody's gonna look back and be like, wow, her makeup game was so strong in math class because it doesn't matter. It's literally so much more important to just be on time for class and show that you care to your teachers. Same with work, same with if you're going out because there's no point in being self-conscious looking in the mirror a thousand times at yourself. If you loan someone something, never expect to see it again. Okay, this includes money as well. If you're spotting someone a burrito at Chipotle, you bought them a burrito at Chipotle. They have no intentions of paying you back. It just doesn't work that way. It's 2016. I have learned this the hard way time and time again throughout high school and college. People will project their own insecurities onto you and you can't take it personally. People will actually go ahead and pick out things that they hate about themselves and look for that in other people and try to find things wrong with them to make themselves feel higher up and more secure. And it's messed up. It's crazy, okay? So you can't take it to heart. You have to realize that those people people are very jealous and that they're doing this out of their own self-esteem issues. Trust your gut instinct. It'll save you so much trouble in the long run. It's ridiculous. Every single time I've had a bad feeling, something bad happened to me. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel down sometimes for no apparent reason. Sometimes it's actually necessary to take a mental health day and skip school or skip work one time for the one time. Don't do that all the time, but sometimes that may be what you actually need to get back on your feet and feeling better again. If you love someone, let them know. Tell that person, even if you don't want anything to come out of it, Life is way too short to not tell people how you truly feel. You will never regret making good decisions, and if you ever do make a bad decision, always remember to make amends with those people that were involved and possibly hurt by the situation because apologies can actually fix a lot when you really sit there and you apologize for what you did wrong and you acknowledge that you feel sorry for it. That can mend a lot of broken bridges. And also, don't leave bridges broken. Don't burn bridges, whatever the saying is. Don't do any of that. Don't burn them, don't break them, don't shoot them, don't blow them up. Always make sure that they are put back together. You are responsible for your own happiness. If you don't like something about your life or about yourself, fix it. There are obviously always things out of our control and everyone has those circumstances that limit them at times, but for the most part, you are in control of your feelings and you're also in control of how you choose to look at every situation and the things that happen to you. Don't major in or take the job that you think will make you the most money. Do what you are passionate about and what you truly love and you'll be so much happier and it'll lead you in the right direction. The money will come. Your parents are probably just trying to protect you even though you may not see it now or any time in the near future. It might take you a very long time actually and try your best to spend as much time as possible with the grandparents and other close relatives because hey, they're not going to be around forever. Spend time with everyone that you love and care about in your life because they could be gone at any moment. Take lots of pictures because frozen moments never change even if the people do. Everything is temporary and you're a lot stronger than you think you are. Look at how much you've overcome in your lifetime so far. Doesn't matter how old any of you guys are, just you've overcome a lot. You're so much more capable than you give yourself credit for. Be the person that you would want to be friends with. Also strive to possess the qualities that you find attractive in others and it'll make you a better person. You have to love yourself before anyone else can truly love you. Self-love is so important and that comes first. If everyone else is doing it, that's probably just better evidence that you shouldn't. You don't owe anyone an explanation for how you choose to live your life. You need to do what you want to do. Don't listen to the opinions of sheep. Save your money and when you do choose to spend it, spend it on investments in your future or experiences because that'll be so much more fun for you and beneficial than stuff, than a bunch of possessions that you probably won't use after a couple weeks ever again or will be irrelevant a year from now. Network. Network, network, network. Meet new people, make friends, make others feel important. 
not because you're fake and you are trying to gain something out of them, but because you want to have a personal connection with the people that you are meeting and engaging with. Doesn't matter if it is a grocery store employee or a person next to you on a first class flight. Talk to that person, get to know who they really are, and down the road it's probably gonna work in your favor. It's gonna be good to know a lot of people. Confidence is the best thing that you can have. True confidence leaves no room for jealousy. When you know you are great, you have no room to hate. The energy you put out into the world will come back to you twice as hard, so make sure that you're putting out things that are positive and good. Just because you think you love someone isn't a good enough reason to stay with them. Drink more water and spend time outside in mother nature because your body will thank you later. Holding grudges hurts you more than the person that you're holding a grudge against and you need to learn to forgive people. Even if it's hard, even if it takes you a little bit, you need to be able to do that in order to have peace with yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. These were 20 things I've learned in 20 years. I might have thrown in some extra ones, not really sure. But if you guys want more videos like this in the future, I honestly love giving advice and sharing things that I hold sacred to my heart and that have helped me get through life. So let me know in the comment section below. Also, please, 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 if you haven't already, it would mean the absolute freaking world to me. I'm also going to do a giveaway if you do this, if that's more of an incentive for you. Follow my other channel. It's my collab channel where I upload every Friday along with some awesome YouTubers. And yesterday I posted a first kiss, my cringy middle school relationship story time. Go watch that. It's so gross and I've never talked about it on this channel. Also subscribe if you're new here. What's up? Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye. <laughs>